What's up, what's up, what's up? This is We're Gonna Talk About a Podcast. Episode number... 64. Mm-hmm. No, 64. That's what if it is. 62. Oh, okay. I'm good enough. Maybe. <laughs> Episode number 62. And I am your co-host, Nacho Fries. You do like 62. And our host, Butter Popcorn. And this is we're going to talk about a podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Number one podcast to us. Hmm? I guess that's all that matter, right? Mm-hmm. Anywho, uh, what's this episode about? Who should pay for the first date? All right, who's responsible for the first date when you have, you do your first date? You asking me? No. Oh. So. We have what less than twenty days left mm-hmm. for the election, mm-hmm. and hope you guys got your mind set on uh, who y'all going for. Uh, I'm saying a lot of a lot of goofy people still voting for Trump. You got some ex NFL players that just came out for Trump. It, it, it's just, and then some dude, Lord, I forgot his name, Jamal. He he didn't call Kamala a B for no reason, supporting Trump. But all these people are supposed to be pro black people, but they voting for a racist white man. So they they pro black, but they uh, male misogynist or whatever you want to call it, chauvinist, male chauvinist, mm. because they do not want a woman to lead. And a lot of them probably in their lifetime lived off their baby mama or something for for a spell or two, but they would not want a, a woman to lead. But and also a lot of them probably come from a uh, a fatherless home so their mother was the leader of the house <laughs> so how are you afraid of a woman to lead when your mom was the one leading you when your dad disappeared so make it make sense it, it, it's, it's not making sense you, you, you that much scared of a woman you know you give her you give her the same chances you gave Trump give her four years if she don't do it, get rid of her. That's it. That's that's why I don't understand why people are making it like, oh, but like if you vote for Trump, he already said that he gonna make it that you ain't got to vote no more. So he gonna be president for the rest of his life. You know what I'm saying? But if she get in and you don't like, and, and y'all making her got to bend over backwards to please you guys. She came out with a policy for Black men and this and this and y'all making y'all making her have to when I, I feel like she shouldn't have to do all this. You making her have put out a policy for black men. Saying black men need to um I mean, you know, she she like she gonna give black man this, black man that. When you say that, then it's people in the thing saying, We don't want your hand dog. So long. Anything this lady do. It's always backlash. It's a backlash from people. And that's sad. Donald Trump can do whatever he want to do. Like the dude said, Donald Trump could kill somebody in, in front of, in the White House. And he said he still a vote for him. That's how delusional people are. You don't, Kamala can't even get a, a traffic ticket. And you're going to say, oh, she, she, she jaywalking or, or something like that. But dude straight up said Trump can kill somebody on the White House line and he'll still vote for him. 
make it make sense. Why is it so hard? Why 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 she have to like jump over hoops? Why she got to clown? And Trump Trump say we want to say. Trump said something about he um he gonna get rid of the Department of Education. Who's it gonna affect? Black people is gonna go back to the back, back days when black people couldn't get an education. So y'all dumb, y'all gonna let this man take away y'all education. Cause he won't get rid of the Department of Education. Man, he won't man, I, I just I don't understand how is it still close. I I really don't. But hey, if he win, I mean, y'all gonna be just like the rest of us. You're not getting nothing. You ain't getting that twelve hundred dollars that some of you stupid black people are still trying to get. You think he finna give you some money? He ain't giving you nothing. He fin he finna actually make it more expensive for you to get anything. Y'all stupid. I mean, do your research. Man, I, I mean, let me let me stop talking about it because it, it, it it's irking me because people just just don't don't read, don't comprehend, don't pay attention. You can watch all his rallies, see what he said. You can watch his interviews. If you so much in, into a if you're a Donald Trump uh, person, watch his interviews, watch his rallies, and all that stuff. He tells you everything. But I mean, but y'all find a reason to y'all y'all find something to say. Oh, oh, he didn't mean it that way, and he mean what he say. Anywho, let me cut this off because I'm uh, I'm upset. You can tell, can you? All right. Well, what's the what's the topic? Who pays on the first day? Who hmm. Who do you think should pay on the first day? Who do you think should pay on the first day? Who do you think should pay? All right. Well, who Who do you think should pay on the first day? Whoever asked. Whoever asked for the date? Yeah. Elaborate. If you ask me out, you should pay for it. That's it. Whoever asks, if I ask you out, then I, I can pay for it. But that's, that was just the question. Who should pay? Who should pay? I don't really know. I think I would say whoever asks should pay because you know the gentleman going to be like, hey, let me take you out. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. You, you but a female you. can shoot her shot and be like, hey, let's go out. Because, you know, today's society, that's, you know, we don't wait. We shoot our shots, you know. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe it should be 50-50 now that I think about it. Maybe it should be 50-50. I pay for my meal, you pay for your meal. Because we don't, we just going out to see, have a conversation, share, share a meal. But if you be like, oh, no, I think, not you, but in general, the dude could be like, no, nah, I got you. Then that's cool, too. Or she could say, I got you. And he might be like, nah, I'm paying for it because, you know, the roles. But if, if it's not important, then you just do 50-50. Now, if he taking me, and, and me, I'm not no bougie. You about to say something? No, go ahead. I, I ain't no bougie chick. Like, I don't have to go, like, to, like, Ruth Chris. I don't even eat steak. But he could be like. My castles in the park, I could care less. But or at McDonald's and just share a large fry. I mean, we just conversate and get to know each other. You don't have to pull out the red carpet for me at first. So, so would you accept a uh, a picnic date? Yeah, most definitely. I would accept any kind of date. So, so do do you think that if a dude do take out the real Chris, uh -huh. and he wants something in return? Not he might not necessarily want. No, I'm saying, and if he wants something in return. Because what what if the woman be like, oh, I only go to Rue Chris or because there's some women who try to dictate where to go. Mm. Do you think that they should, if they want to dictate where to go and spend, they would do spend two hundred dollars? Cause she say that. Do you think she owed him anything? No, nah, she don't owe him nothing. He took her because that's what she wanted to do. So you trying to say, oh, like to have to lay with him that night because he spent two hundred dollars. Now we saying, well, now we going to prostitution. How is that possible? Because he pays one hundred dollars for her to eat. He, no. he ate too though. But did he not eat? Yeah, he might not. He probably because <laughs> if you get out that she ordered two hundred dollars worth of food, he probably got some water. And then he shouldn't have went. But at the same time, you like oh, this what if you're trying to show uh, 
Alright. He trying to impress then. He was just trying to impress. That don't mean she was gonna lay with him just because he spent that money. You could take you could take somebody to a picnic in the park with cold chicken and Lay's potato chips and y'all share a so a best soda and she still may lay it down. So it don't even matter. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. But it's the expectations of the woman. Like some of these women be pricing themselves out the game. Mm. Cause they think some women uh, never been in root Chris or whatever, but expect you to take them to root Chris, but then don't want to get them back. Probably, like I said, she she used to go in the Ryan Steakhouse or uh, Ponderosa. First of all, what is wrong with that? I ain't say nothing. Oh, okay, about well, to say. But I'm to saying, be back. I'm saying she take herself to them places. Yeah. But she expect this man mm-hmm. to take her to root Chris mm-hmm. and spend two three hundred dollars on her mm-hmm. when she ain't spend two or three hundred dollars on herself and her baby daddy show ain't did nothing but buy her steak and shake. That's the best steak she had. Mm. So she can't even take it down her own greens. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> she ain't had. She ain't never had nothing. Some women do that, and I don't understand why they do that. Well, uh. Price herself out the game, try to tell this man just because she thinks the man got something. So, and he may, yeah, mm-hmm. but I think that's you get to that level. Like, the, but do that mean he obligated to take you? No, he's not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's not obligated to take you nowhere, but at the same time, if he got if he got some money and you got what he's looking for, you need to give him what he want. Then if you you want him to spend and splurge on you on a first date, well, that's that, that's probably how it usually works. You no, know, I I seen some videos of and then they they say the dude was wrong mm. when uh if, he anticipated a, an evening with the lady at the night. No, I'm I'm saying like uh I seen the video. The dude took the girl out. Yeah, they can have some water. And she's just ordering all type of stuff. Ordering all type of stuff. Like, and he looking at her like, dang. <laughs> and, uh. You should have set a boundary. For then he was like, should am I getting something tonight? And she was like, oh, uh, no. He was like, separate checks. Uh. Was he wrong for that? No. But why did he up? First of all, what was she ordering, child? She some ordered, hot wings and some cheese fries? No, nah, no. Nah, she was ordering she some ordered stuff. She ordered some ribs and some steak she and all that. Some, some shrimp and all that. And he looking at her like, uh, I'm, am I getting something tonight? When, when, before, even the, even the waiter. Who does that? Even the waiter knew what was up. <laughs> the waiter, both of them, the uh, waiter says uh, separate checks at the same time. That's crazy. They have to be a skit. There's no way. It, I don't care what it was, but women do, <laughs> do that. That's crazy. There's no way. They expect they expect the men to like go all the way out. She took total advantage. Yeah. It's probably some people like that though. It is. They take, and then they, they order all that, they're gonna take it home and feed their Yeah. And and I, I seen the video of a girl could have been a skit too. A girl called this dude. She laid up with another dude. She called this dude and, and told him, Can he bring her something to eat? Or buy her no nah, uh uh Uber her some some food. He was like, oh yeah, sure, baby. He was like, uh, can you can you order my friend something too? He was like, what friend? Oh my girlfriend here, blase blase. So uh, I don't know how he found he he said something about it. Better not be no dude. Some it was somehow that he found out he didn't he didn't send it, and she was mad at him because he wasn't send it. But you just was smashing this dude, and y'all just got hungry, and you call him up and say, "Uber, Uber me some food, me and my friend." That's why I say girls be. They be Hold on, real quick, because he's more some girls. Listen, I saw this on uh, one of them court shows. A girl was suing a young man. He was that was her boyfriend. He was her man. They worked together at the post office. Granted, they was only together like two, three months. Mother's Day's coming up. They go to Cage Jeweler. And um, she buying her mama some uh, earrings. They was like a thousand plus. She got them on 30% off. So she said her total was like eight, 870 or something. She showed her receipt. <laughs> and then he, she was going to buy his mama two rings. Now, mind you, she was she 22. She was a little out there. That was silly because when I saw the ring, you could automatically tell it was an engagement ring. And the total of those rings was for $1,000. She put them on her K-card. So, 
she gets up one day and asks him to take her, take her to work because his car was in the shop. So he's using her car. He got an attitude. So she calls her brother to come and take her to work. Nevertheless, anywho, when she get her car back, her phone has the Bluetooth list and she saw a number that she didn't recognize. She called it. The young lady answered the phone. They discussed who each other were. She said, the other girl said, I'm the fiance. I just got proposed to X, Y, and Z. She said, send me a picture of the ring. It was the exact ring that she had just bought. Oh, so wow. Uber Eats ain't got nothing on buying. You got a, your, the girl who you think is your girl. She thinks she's your girlfriend. And she was just silly enough to buy a ring that she thought she was giving to your mother for Mother's Day. And you didn't propose to the, another girl. Who buys their mama a $4,000 ring? <laughs> She, I said she was 22. She was silly. $4, but the judge said, rain. the judge asked her, did you think it was yours? Like, why would you buy this ring? Did you think he was going to propose to you? And she was like, I didn't even think it was an engagement ring. But no, the, so the bottom line was what happened in the case is that he didn't, he not even engaged to the girl no more. And he has the ring. So the judge told him to give. And she also paid for his tickets to come off of a boot. We'd be so desperate. Nevertheless, that's another episode uh, she paid for his, the boot to come off his his car. So, yeah, she paid $652 worth of tickets. So, he had to pay for the tickets, and then he had to give her the ring back. And then they said, hopefully, K will, she would have to still probably okay something. They're probably not going to give her a full refund for the mm -hmm. ring. But he said they would have to, he would have to pay the difference on whatever that was. So. And K jewelry is cheap. So, like, you, you buy a lot, but you... <laughs> It ain't worth nothing when you got so it. So not only, my point was this, not only are women manipulative, but also men go do the most themselves. The men used to do it. This was recent. Well, it, 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 most, it's mostly women who do it now. No, I'm sure it's even. No, men used sure to do it. I'm sure it's even. Men still do it. They not changing. Women are... They will find somebody women, in color. Women, women are the most manipulative people, creatures or whatever you want to call it. On the planet, I don't I care. Wonder why? I don't care what you say, but you don't have to care. But I'm women, gonna the truth. Men are not manipulative. The woman just be dumb. I said they find the most gullible one. Women are manipulative. What you wish your hands for? I'm, I was gullible too. That's what I'm saying. Not what to you, you baby. What you talking about? <laughs> don't I take it personal. Gullible. Yeah, I'm saying everybody has this moment that we a fool for somebody. Yeah. But I'm not, for him to even ask Uber Eats, he already knew if he was to say, who is your friend? Like, that's just mad weird. And that's just, just why would you even call another man that order you on somebody else on food? And that's you, crazy. Y'all just mashing. So they, they, they that was just crazy. They just mashing. And then she did that. But um, I just say, like with women, like dudes, they women look for certain things in men. This uh, is about the eating the part, right? I just went off track because I wanted to prove you to my Uber Eats and how and how women. I was just letting you know there's men out there too doing the same thing. Yeah, so yeah. how what you about to say got to do with who paid for the meal? What you mean? That's the topic. No, I'm just saying because <laughs> now you about to go somewhere else with this conversation. You you just went somewhere else. Because I was proving so, my point that men women are not the only ones who like to argue manipulate and you misuse people. Who? I misuse people? No, I'm talking in general. That man used that girl to buy a ring for somebody else. But and, it's not and, it's and, a, it's not the same thing. The Uber eats in the between fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents and four thousand dollars. Women are manipulative. Men just like you say, gullible women. Yeah. It's not even being manipulated. A man could be gullible too. And yeah. the women will misuse but, him too. But women gonna misuse anybody because they gonna do whatever they is to do what they do. Okay. To do what they do. Men, they we are sometimes we stupid. We we do stuff. It's women are too. In some cases. Twenty two years old is young. And so she just did that trying to be nice, she thought. She was gullible. And, yeah, she was. But at the same time, she Naive, it was something that the, she wanted in that dude. She wanted him. That was her boyfriend. No. She had just paid $652 for his, this boot to get he, off his car. Maybe he had, you know, because women used to always go for the dude with the pretty hair. He was a nice looking young man, too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So if it was an ugly dude, that wouldn't went down. So 
The women put their self in positions. I ain't gonna say that either. Somebody gonna find the ugly dude attractive and go all out for him too. They ain't gonna go too too all out. <laughs> they, it, it's gonna, the ugly dude gonna have to prove his point for a minute. The okay. the little pretty dude d- didn't have to prove his point because she she wanted him because she she probably approached him. She wanted him. No, they, I don't know but the ugly dude point. had to approach her, and she had. So to you win. just said the ugly dude is not is paying for the meal and the pretty yeah. boy. The, well, like the ugly dude the mostly will pay for the meal because just like Kamala, they got to go over hoops. Oh Lord. But it and then it'd be crazy sometimes. Well, let me just put it out there. I paid the for dude, our first day too. It'd be the dudes <laughs> so, it'd be the dudes that be having the that. money, right? <laughs> the girls be on them because they got money. And <laughs> don't even get what the heck are you doing? <laughs> go ahead. What is that want 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 for? Because I just said something. Because you just said the ugly dudes have to jump the hoops, and I said you want to jump in the hoop. Because you have to pay for our first. Because you, that's what you want. You wanted some hooters. I ain't never been to hooters before, babe. It was then on matter. <laughs> I had never been there. Before. And she still saying our first date, and I, I, I doubt that was our. That first was. Date. That was it. But it was our first date. But yeah, we went to hooters. I don't know, but we we was eating at, at the house before we went on the first date. What that dude be saying? Uh, we were eating Panteras and uh, Hooters. We had Pantera piece once. I don't know. Go ahead, Kamala Harris. But anywho, uh, just like Kamala Harris, they making her go over hoops. <laughs> Maybe we going back to voting. We sticking to the topic. No, so. no I'm just saying. I, I'm not talking about voting. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just using the metaphor that people are making. If if. If the dude, like I said, you said the dude was attractive, and that's what she was looking for, he probably didn't have no qualifications of nothing. She probably seen all type of stuff beforehand, but but she thought he was cute, and then he probably beat it or something. So she felt she, you know, that's how she did it. Mm-hmm. Dudes, on the other hand, you know, mostly mostly dudes, like I say. The dudes who who's not like super attractive or whatever, mm-hmm. they got to pay for the first meal mostly. You know what I'm saying? You know, so. Well, he asked her on a date, and so he sh- I maybe he should pay. He don't want to ask her. Let me take you out, right? That's what y'all say. Let me take you out. So you should pay for it if you ask. Yes, but what if she say? Uh, when, when we go out to eat, what what if she say that? <laughs> then who both pay? You can either go Dutch or she can pay herself. She can pay for it. But what she refused to pay? Well, that's the conversation they need to have. That's what I'm saying. So before the date, a woman that it, the society got it that a woman there's all types of stuff. Women shouldn't pay. Women shouldn't. Uh, women shouldn't pay for dates. Women shouldn't uh, propose to men. Women shouldn't. You know, it's a lot of stuff. And this is a new age. You know, women should pay for dinner. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying they pay for it all the time, but they should pay for dinner. First date, maybe. You know what I'm saying? If if you, you know, it shouldn't always be up on the man. Because y'all, you know, some men be going through a whole lot of stuff. And you just want your companionship. But, you know, if he like, hey, you up here, you, you ordering everything on the menu. And then you expect him to pay, and, and you're not uh, uh, letting that uh, thingy thing at the back of your throat get touched. Oh my goodness! Then I, I think you're wrong for that. Hold on, babe. So I watched this video yesterday. The lady walked out the door. Her and her boyfriend lived together. The lady walks out the door with no purse. He locked the door. There we go. They live together. Listen, mean? it was date night. They got this thing called date night in some relationships. So it was date night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's date night. And she walks out the door. He locks the door. He turns around and notices that she doesn't have her purse. He said, hey, where your purse at? She's like, it's in the house. It's date night. He was like, I thought you worked overtime this week to pay for date night. She's like, you got to be kidding me. So that means, obviously, he doesn't have a job. So I don't know why she thought 
that he was gonna pay for it. But my thing is, why so are you how, going on a date? Yeah, how you going on a date? And, and he ain't got no money. And I guess she figured he needed to do some ends or something. She already paid all the bills, so she went in the house and got her pocketbook. So what? What are you? Where are you supposed to get his money from if he ain't got none? I don't know, cause at the it was titled broke boyfriend. So she went back in the house and got her purse. I guess she said he figured it out. Maybe it was just gonna go for a drink and share an appetizer. I don't know. Well, just go for a walk. Well, that would be nice too. Because yeah, uh. I, I just I don't, I don't I don't see. But at the end of the day, he had already assumed that she was gonna pay for it. She walked out the door clean without her purse, like she getting tired of this. All right, so who fault is that that she's getting tired of? Oh my God, this is the whole point that I don't know. She been paying for it all the other times. All right, so it. she she laid that foundation. Okay, whatever. What? I don't know. He could have bought she, she it off of his mama. I mean, he could. Yeah. But sure, he probably he probably bought so much that you know he owe everybody. But then there's no date night. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's who she chose, though. Yeah, yes. So if they go out on a date, I guess maybe. But she and that's the thing. Maybe the first time they went out a date, he paid for it. Or maybe. And, and maybe he could have just lost the job. I don't know. Yeah. I ain't going to detail. But about I say, you never know. But she said she had been paying for it the whole time. She getting tired. Yeah. But just for him to assume that's why she worked overtime is crazy. But she could have paid for it the first time. Or look, like she could have paid for it the first time too. And she's laid that foundation. Oh, baby, I'm going to pay for it. Pay for it all this time. So once you cripple the man, you know what I'm saying? He, he get crippled. You know what I'm saying? If, if, you don't, if you don't allow a man to be a man, he's going to be crippled. So you cannot cripple the man. I mean, it, it's good to help him. You you be by his side, you help him. You know, if he down, help him. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can't cripple him. <clears throat> because if he's sitting here playing a game or whatever, every day, all day, ain't picked up, picked up an application, ain't, ain't went on the internet to pick up an application. He said he was a client. So, so who fault is that? That's that woman fault. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know. But nevertheless. But it, it, it could have been. Like I say, she was always paying. She probably paid for the first date and paid for all the dates. Mm -hmm. She laid that foundation. Or he paid for the first date and he feel like <laughs> he, he put his thing in. He got in with her. They moved in together. He, you know, he beat it up. Oh, my and goodness. And she fell in love with It's not about relations. No. Nah, I told you, it's the difference with dudes and girls. It's, it's a reason why the girls will, will, will sit up and pay and do all that stuff for the dudes. The dudes mostly is going to pay because of women. But a woman, for the woman to do all that stuff, it had to be a lot of factors for a woman to sit up and pay everything without no no issue. She just couldn't love him just because it don't have nothing to do with all of that extra stuff. He could be funny and make her laugh. He could have been there when she needed somebody most in her life. Yeah. But how long does it last? Love. Uh. Money uh, makes the world go round. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, uh, you, you, I can make you laugh and on the phone, and you, we can be friends. <laughs> oh but, my goodness! But, I don't. They didn't go into the situation of like how far he he ain't had a job and all of that. They ain't say that it's just the whole point that we just talking about date night or who pays for the date. That's, yeah. That was that's well, I'm just saying. why I came to mind. You know what I'm saying, but still, you can't you can't because we judging the man. I'm not judging we, him at we all. Don't, we don't know. The, situ the whole situations. I'm uh, just saying they didn't, they didn't have that conversation before. She probably said she was tired of yeah. uh, pain. That's why she didn't take her purse out outside. I hope it was a skit. Now that I think about it, a lot of them be skits. Yeah. And uh, but so what's the bottom line, Pebe? I feel like it just it just depends with me if like if the woman we talking about uh. uh I want to go, cause actually, uh, reason why I said the root Chris thing, cause I don't know if somebody said that to me or I was around somebody who said that to somebody, and I'm like, they ain't never been a root Chris, ain't no way. How can you sit up and tell somebody where you want to go? You want to go on a fancy date, but you, you, you saying you celibate or. <laughs> You know what nothing wrong, but then she just wasn't the one for you or whoever that was. She ain't the one for nobody. She can be if she wanted to just go on a fancy date. No, has she? Has she ain't never been on a fancy date? If you're used to going to them other dates, 
You usually want a mother day. Well, she wants it, somebody that's gonna. Take it's her. always it's crazy. It because, ain't nothing wrong with turn, changing the narrative. No, of your story. because she meet a new dude on the she first day. She tired of going Hold to on. White Castle, so Hold she wants a fancy this. date. But why? Why is on his expense after you had fifteen on the dude? All she doing is just telling them. The only thing he can say is no. And if he say no, she be cool. like, oh well, I don't want to go out with you. That's fair enough. She don't but have then to. She turn around because he know what. That, and she's she she, smashing the dude. She giving money to. It, at the end of the day. What. Why do your narratives be so crazy? But at the that's end not, of the day... How is that crazy? Because <laughs> that might not be what it is. She could be tired of a certain low... What they call it? Low vibration. She but could be tired of that. If you listen and so to she me, looking, I hear you. No, so she, you so she said, I want to go to Ruth... So she said, I want to go to Ruth Chris. But she's celibate. Meaning she ain't having relations, right? So he said, no. And that's nah, why she ain't been to Ruth Chris. That's cool. cool. So and, and then, But somebody will come along and take her to Ruth Chris and don't even expect nothing from her. Show a good time. He may not even even like her in real life because you don't even know people at, at first. So he might not even like her, but at least she experienced with Chris, and then she can go back and pay her baby daddy bills or whatever else you change in the story to say. Or she nah, might just go back and be home about and go to work because it's always like you can see skits and everything, and you can see movies and all that stuff that the girl will have. She go on the first date with some dude, and. She won't, you know, do my take her to the fancy restaurant, like she said, and don't spend nothing out of. And she turn around and be smashing her baby daddy at the same time, bringing him the leftovers and stuff. You watch too much too. So, Jesus, why is gotta be like that? Why she just can't go home by herself and save her leftovers for work tomorrow? Because if she ain't ever been a real Chris, it's no reason why you should try. You, you that should be one of your step. Uh, Things are saying, oh, he got to take me to Rue Chris. So you saying she got to go to a bar and grill, or she got to go to a, a sports it, bar, it or she got to go to Applebee's, or Olive Garden, or Red Lobster. And I ain't putting them down. I'm just saying, this is where you saying she got to start at. She's been there several times. We go out to eat every month, and you just said the other day, you tired of going to the same places. So, and I mean, collectively, it doesn't matter. It's the same type of situation. So, I, I experienced I, all of that. So, now I want to elevate. I want to go somewhere else I've never been before. Yeah, and if we get into a relationship, then you can elevate her. You can say, oh, wait, we're going to go to this uh, this little fancy restaurant, I know. Y'all in a relationship now, but in the beginning, y'all just learning each other. Why, mm -hmm. why often spend three, four hundred dollars on somebody that they never got spent three hundred, four hundred dollars on? And then, like I say, most women will be going home after they oh, went out with Lord. you and be with their baby daddy I or something. Disagree. Or I don't think that's some, the case they got anybody. another woman. Or they going out with another dude. But if you ain't never been... Well, it's just a date. And they're not even committed. They're just going on a date. I, that's what I'm saying. If oh. you're not committed, you go, why, why I'm taking you to a $400 dinner? Because you asked me to go out. And I told you where I wanted to go. And that's what I said I wanted to do. So the only thing you can say is no or all right, that's it. No. That's the thing. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I ain't saying you got to go to, uh, to no, uh, you know, something low, but I'm not finna, I'm not finna go out of my way to spend my rent money or whatever. Well, that wouldn't even make sense to even ask nobody. You can't even afford to take nobody on no date. But, you know, if he, if he really digging the girl... And he trying to oppress her. Some dudes do dumb stuff. Light like a candle and go get you a five dollar piece of from Little Caesars. And, and she probably ain't gonna even come. Well, then she ain't it. Yeah, that was it. A lot of you, you got you got to catch the ones who will do that. You know, it's a lot of girls just for themselves. Uh will we'll tell you up hand if you can't if you can't pay this uh half on this uh uh five thousand dollar mortgage and. Which one? Stuff. First dates and the first one on mortgage. I seen that on on Facebook. A girl <laughs> would say, "Don't be in my inbox or don't be don't ask for my number if you cannot do this, do this, do this, do this, do this." They didn't have no first date. That's what I'm saying. But this happens about first date. Though. But you got to you got to have all that to get a first date with her. <laughs> oh well, then that's what I'm saying. You, well, you, you they saying, know, she telling people how to apply. And, okay. So I'm saying, so on your first date, they want what they gonna want, mm, okay. and they gonna be like, "Is you finna do what else?" That's a tough conversation to have. Just like a girl, uh, I guess she met a dude, and they first he flew her out somewhere. She went out there and she didn't want to do it with him, and he told her she gotta find a way back home. Fair enough. You know what I'm saying? And no, she mad know. like, 
Oh. He took, he flew a word. He flew a song. Like he flew well, some money. She, she, she already knew what it was. Yeah, and she ain't had no money. That's your fault. Your mama should have told you you should have kept half some money. But she you, shouldn't even went. She don't even know the man. But at the same time, you she probably told him, Oh, I want to go to Miami. I'm this, this, this. All right, I can do that for you. This how I just met you first day. You wanna come to Miami? Boom. But if I've been spending this and this, you know you gotta give up something. So it's been like this your whole life. What? This mentality with females and dating. No, why is it mentality? I'm not finna. I'm not finna take a girl somewhere. I'm just saying you've been she, here 50, 60, 70, 80. Like, <laughs> has it always been? I'm like not finna. If if a woman ain't never been, you ain't don't put me the first one to take you. <laughs> and have to spend all this money when all these dudes were smashing you and hitting you oh, and bust your white castles and all this <laughs> stuff, and you want to go on a first date with me and want to order a thousand dollar steak or. Uh, I ain't never had the uh, the gold steak. You would never have the gold steak with me. No. You know what I'm saying? You want to get something that you never had before. That's a good thing you off the market because they would really have a hard time. No, they wouldn't. Because <laughs> these women, well, a lot of women now, through their first <laughs> date, be smoking blunts and uh, have, uh, get some liquor and that's it. You want to that? No. No. Oh, okay. But I'm saying. But, I'm but, saying. but at a certain person, they'd be like, oh, I need you to take me here. But old boy from the block, uh, let me take you out for the first time. All right, take you to his house. And y'all smoking, and then y'all smash. There ain't no date. But that's her. That's that's what I'm saying. Okay. Women do what they want to do. Okay. So I just feel like it just, just depends. I'm not gonna take no woman on the first date, nowhere extravagant like that. But you know, I, I could take them somewhere that's to the movies. To Apple yeah, movies. you know, you go to the movies. You could go. Uh, Shoot, with the movies by itself, shoot. That's a uh, Metro PCS bill. And then, you know, and then if you want popcorn, bowling. you know, if you want popcorn and stuff, you know how much popcorn and if you take, if you go on the movies on the first date. No, no, no. All right, just peep this. You go to the movies. You get popcorn, you get sodas and all that stuff. First date, right? That's like almost 60 some dollars right there. Turn around and say, all right, I'm going to take you to, what, Longhorn. And you probably spend about $50 at Longhorn. So that's like, that's over $100 he spent. That's not a good date. But you'd rather want, you'd rather just say, take me to Rue Chris. That you ain't never been to Rue Chris. You've probably been to Longhorn. You know what I'm saying? But you going to the show. You know, you getting your little you know, getting your little popcorn, getting a little soda. You know, I think they sell liquor in the uh in the show if you want a little drinky. They give you a little drink. And and, and you you cool because you know show is expensive. You know, show is a court over right now. And then you go out to eat after that, or just say somebody take you to a comedy show. And then out to eat on the first date. That's not, that's not, and they take you to Applebee's. You know, what's wrong with that? Huh? Nothing. You, you, evidently something wrong because you, you feel like. It's no, you're wrong. talking about a certain female. For me, I'm not, I don't care. Yeah, I, I just feel like I just be happy to get out the house. A lot of women price themselves out the game, and when they do that, it's because they got that little cheap dude on the side that they already smashing, and that cheap dude smashing this other girl got a got a oh. got a uh, woman or baby mama. That's how that's how a lot of women are. You know, so yeah, I've been around a long time. How we know? I I, I seen I seen the law. Did you experience any of it? I experienced a, some, a lot of this stuff too. So you had a healthy, active dating life? I ain't gonna say healthy, active. <laughs> active or whatever. You just dated a lot. I ain't gonna say you dated a lot. <laughs> okay. But I'm saying on, on the first dates or something, you know, I, I'd go to the, the show, like you said, and get something to eat, but it wasn't no, nothing spectacular no okay you know what I'm saying you know because you, you are spectacular yeah you know yeah, you are the spectacular you, you give me meat for one for one you know, being around me come on now is, is worth 
bought Ooh. two million. Yes, sir. So if you ain't if you ain't panty dropping, then just just being around me. Uh huh. When you're in the car, you should be just taking them off. Oh wow. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It should be just soap. That you oh can't, my goodness. You can't keep them on. Oh my goodness. This must have been the early 25s, 30s. You too. <laughs> I'm saying she used to bust down the door and, and just stop. Go crazy. Stop it. I'll be trying true. to say. Um, calm down. That's not true. Calm down. That's not true. You know, so just be around me on on the first date. Right. It, it, it's priceless. Yes, it is. And then you're going to get to show, and then you're going to get a little bite to eat. It shouldn't even matter if I brought some bologna sandwiches. Right. You're going to eat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So on my first dates, I'm not I'm not taking you nowhere extravagant, but we get together, and we have relationships, and we happen to go out, you know, I ask you where you want to go all the time. You just indecisive. What's drive through? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, keep on. <laughs> How come? Uh, I, 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 it's Carmelita, baby. You know. What are you talking about? Oh, I thought it was me alone. I thought so. I thought so. Yeah, okay. She, she, she out here. She try to play like whatever. Yeah, I know. I'm not. She know good. Go back to episode one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. If we I'm if we go out to eat somewhere, I ask her what she want to go out to eat. We went out to eat plenty of places, and she had picked IHOP or what? I don't even like IHOP. Well, we've been IHOP. That's because that's where our son went. It don't to matter. Go. I ask you, and you, <laughs> you, I will ask her, and she will want other people' opinions. It's not other people. It's our son. No, I'm saying anywhere. Oh, you know, well, it, it'd be other people. She instead of her. Saying I want to go here, go here. She is let other because I want to go with the majority of the group. No, nah, if I ask you where you want to go, because we're celebrating everybody's birthday, right? You no, know, I'm saying if, with, with you, like when when we me and me and the boy or what all that we all out, and I'll be like, where we want to go? It don't matter where he want to go. Yes. I ask you where you want to go. He gonna eat regardless. <laughs> right? Okay. So, y'all don't sit up or whatever. We, <laughs> Again, we, we, what drive through are we going we went through? To, is okay uh, with me. We went to Mag- Whatever the people. For our anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. And we we tried food. We yeah, we had a good time. I appreciate you know that, saying? for sure. And I had to suggest it because she she would probably say white cops were going home. The norm. It's okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, I, that's what I'm saying. She... Yeah. <laughs> so, but but it was she, nice. I enjoyed myself. But she can she can do that because we've been we together and we you know what I'm saying. We're married. Yeah, <laughs> and I can expect it if I. So if I, I said I want to go to Ruth Chris, I'll take you on ten twenty four. We want to Ruth Chris. I'll take you. I don't. Eat, I wish I liked steak. I really do. Yeah, I will take. But you. unfortunately, I don't care for it. It's, yeah, I'll take you. So, okay, I believe you would too. I'm doing a whole. Uh, Thanksgiving thing. Mm-hmm. Spending bukus off top of whatever it's going to be. Mm-hmm. I ain't asked nobody for nothing, right? Right. So why would I not take her <laughs> to a root prison or whatever? I always say, if I'm to do something for somebody else, what she want, I, I have to, she had to top whatever I do for somebody else. What? You know what I'm saying? If I say I did something for somebody and then I'm like, what you want? You this, this, because I can't do enough for some, so if I ain't do enough for you. So I never say that. Okay, so that's when I said you're feeling obligated because you did something. But you, that's not how that works, though. That's how it worked with me, though. Because you did something for, example, you do something for your mama. Then you got to turn around and do something for me because you did something for your mama. No. If, what are you saying? If I say, do you want something and you... Whatever. <laughs> I just feel like, and then it ain't even like my mama. I just use I just use mama as an example because I don't know what it is. I remember the conversation, but I can't remember what you did and why you asked me. Then I said you feeling obligated because you shouldn't do anything out of obligation. You just do it because you want to do it. Period. Like if I do something for my kickball girls, I will ask her something instead of fact. That uh, I asked her, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a simple fact that I do something for them, so I would want to do something 
more for her, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I guess you could say, I, I, don't, I don't say it feels obligated, but I just don't want to, you know, be like, oh, you did, because you, you know how people throw it back on it. Oh, That's you did for so and so. That's not me. And this, this, no, but you, uh, you, this, this. That's not me, though. So if you do it for me, you do it for me. Yeah, okay. I, I do it for but I'm just, make sure you don't need nothing. Because I don't want to, you know, be like, oh, you did this for them, but I needed this. And so, yeah, you, you already know how I do it, if anything. So, yeah. Okay, so the reality is your your wife is low maintenance. And so as long as that, that car is still in that driveway, when I open up the window, because I don't go nowhere, and the she light say, still works. She says she's low maintenance. <laughs> and the water. I'm, I'm serious. She your say, wife is low maintenance. It ain't but, like I'm asking for your car. Like, well, I got to go to the mall or I need to go to the nail shop and all of that. I don't do all of that. That would be a weekly bill for you. And you would have a problem with that. You don't do that? I don't. I don't. I mean, I probably could, but I don't do it. The wife is low maintenance, so that's not true. So that's probably why I'm like that. Like, if you, if you, even if you did something for your kickball team that's first, they worked hard for y'all season. Y'all won championships. If you want to do something like to them, go ahead and do it. That's cool with me. I don't have an issue with that. I ain't gonna be like, ah, oh, you did that for them. Let me go ahead and go get this and that. Like, no, I don't do that. But I appreciate it. I'll be honest. I appreciate it. Thank you. But don't ever feel obligated because you did something for somebody else. You gotta feel something. Do something. Something for me. Cause I, I, I get the I get the monthly things that I need, and so I'm cool with that. And so I appreciate it. And she had my card. She because you tell me to go get the car. gas and I forget nah. to give you a car back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she keeps saying that. And then, like, don't get my gas. Then I'll be at work and I'll be saying, getting alert. Because, and I asked you all the time. Nah. Yeah, like, oh, I, I bought this. Oh, bought this. I, I'm, I'm going to go to the nail shop. Because oh, I say, see, I know she didn't just say that. I don't go, uh, but I need to be going like, at least twice a week. I don't go. I might go once twice every three months. Twice every two weeks. I'm oh. sorry, twice, twice a month. I'm sorry. But... Look, this is the crazy part, right? I, I be buying her expensive stuff, and she don't even. I don't what? I it, have it, it on. It, it be pissing me off. Oh god! I bought her a, a, a designer purse. I don't go nowhere, and she, I and she, I carry. I had to beg her for I two years. I carried it for a year. No, she didn't. Yes, I did. I had to beg her for two years to wear, it, and then and I didn't want to mess it up, so I stopped carrying it. She stopped carrying it to the Walmart. Uh, purse. That's not true. <laughs> what? That's not true. And I'm like, that's messed up. It just didn't make sense to carry that to the laundromat, to carry that to the grocery nah, store. No, I'm just saying. This didn't make sense to me. Then, you know, I, I, try work. To, I try to do stuff. I tell her, hey, make sure you go do this, get this, this. She, she you know, changed her mind instead of getting what I told her to get. I don't even know what this and that is, but okay. Yeah. Okay. We, we don't even worry about it. Okay, cool. But, you know, like I said, on my first dates. Yeah, first dates. Back to that. I was straight, yes. Unfortunately, you won't have any more first dates, so that's it for you, buddy. But what do you think? Who you think should be responsible for payment? That's the thing. Yeah. The dude. Yeah. You think that's your Dutch? I, I think if 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 you if you don't want to if you don't want to obligate if you're not having if you're not having obligations, I think the first date should be Dutch. I agree with that, so because no, I don't no. think I don't want him to expect nothing from yeah. her. Because he didn't pay, she paid her hundred and ten. Or if they went to Ruth Chris, and then he paid what he wanted to have his sixty five dollars, and then that was it. Yep. And then they can go move forward and so yep. you get to know somebody. Yeah, second date, y'all yeah, can figure out something. Now if you go to a diner and eat coffee, drink a coffee, cool. And, a, and he a paid, supply. you know, pay the chill. Sure. <laughs> what? He just paid the chill. Who paid for the coffee? She paid for the coffee. Oh. Well, he can yeah. be with you. That's her too. Yeah. And then you can see where people's mindsets are too and how people move accordingly. Because yeah. I wouldn't want to go on a date and then you pay for it and think he's supposed to come in this door behind me. Like, bro, no, I'm good on that. But if a woman if a woman go on a first date and don't even attempt to touch her purse, that's a problem. And then that'd be a flag for him. Yeah, because but he, but these, you can't get, if I'm paying $200, you can't pay the tip. But the flag turns pink because he's mesmerized by her beauty or he's yeah. mesmerized by something else. So it's yeah, not really a red hit. flag. And then, I mean, I'm just saying it's not a red flag for him because he interest, he's so interested. She's captivating to him. She ain't captivating. I'm just saying. Oh, he's gullible and naive. She's no trash. Left. Oh, my goodness. That's like my 49ers. Go Broncos.
No bless, babe. Who you giving your flowers to? No, who you give your flowers to? I'm giving my flowers to Miss Kathy. Who is um, Kathy? She is a part of your family. Who is my family? Wait, who is she, Yanti? <laughs> Yo, you giving flowers to people you don't even know. I don't, I never, I think, right, I've, go ahead. I didn't believe you. I, I, thank you. I'm, her name is Miss Kathy. Mama know who she is. And I just wanted to say that the lady, the only thing I've ever had from her is her cookies. And then I was gifted some cookies for my birthday. And, um, by my wonderful mother-in-law. And they are, it, they, I don't care. I don't know how they taste when they get old. We have never had that in our household because they get ate up so quickly. But it's like they always have just come out of the oven. They are just so soft and just so, oh my goodness. You know what I mean? So, I was going to get flowers to her because that is a gift to be able to bake like that. And um, I don't know if she does it as a hustle or if she's been doing it her whole life. But nevertheless, she deserves her flowers because I'm sure she's a wonderful individual. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for my cookies, Miss Kathy. That's it. And she had a big old bag. I still do. Yeah, her and my sister had a big old bag my mom bought them. Man, she had made my cookies for uh, my birthday party. Mm -hmm. Man. And they was for everybody, them and cookies, he took them all. But no, y'all was stealing them cookies. They was for everybody. No, they wasn't. Yes, mama said they was for everybody. Well, y'all ain't tell me that. <laughs> Just like the licorice and the uh, hot tamales, you took it all. But they know I'm a hot tamale. <laughs> You can't leave that out. Man. It was your birthday. You could do what yeah. you wanted to do. Sorry. I didn't know because she told me. She was like, I got some cookies over there. And I'm thinking it was all for me. So you had them at a number 50 on the body cake table. Though. But she didn't She didn't say that that was for everybody. And then you had some cookies on your table. That was for you. And you collected them all. I'm just, I'm piggybacking off of uh, hers. Yeah. Kathy's probably been in my life all my life. Well, most of my life. She, uh, my uncle who passed away, his, uh, is his sister. So, uh. So that would be your auntie, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, she just, we, yeah, like, I want to say, she was since I was, she, yeah, she been in my life all her life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, A long time. Yeah. I never knew she can bake like that, though. <laughs> I never knew. But she can bake. So we're going to give Cassie her flowers. And if y'all need some baking things, mm -hmm. let mm -hmm. us know because we reach out to her. And she would put it in a pretty little bag and stuff. Like she put the dirt in the bags or whatever. Oh, she said she don't do all this stuff. But she give you she give you a lot of cookies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I know she also made some cheesecake or something. I haven't tried it, and yeah. I don't even want to because I'll be at her door. Yeah, okay. she make y'all turn into dough fans, man. Because y'all gonna yeah. be a fan for the uh, them cookies and, and stuff pies like and that. All that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't see if she can make a sweet potato pie. Mmm, sounds delicious. Yeah. Anywho, we want you to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We're gonna talk about a podcast. This is episode number sixty-two. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We talked about first dates. And we, I think we, we talked about, about little second stuff. dates and third dates. And we <laughs> talked about some dates. As always. And we talked about how females manipulative. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say real quick before we close out. Um, I just pray that y'all have a wonderful week. Uh, this is a beautiful um, holiday week. Um, I'll be turning 47 October 24th. 24. Yeah. yeah. October yeah. <laughs> 24th. And so... Um, yeah, so y'all just have, enjoy this week, smile, be kind, uh, just love, forgive, repent, um, and that's pretty much it, that's all I know. I will be back next week, so I can let y'all know how my birthday was and all that. So if you didn't know, if I don't get a text or a phone call, I'm just gonna assume you was busy or you don't know me, and, um, and you'll be forgiven, that's it. And that's toxic. <laughs> She should up here trying to tell y'all. I didn't want to. It's a reminder. She trying to. Well, you know, if, if they gonna do it, they, they gonna do it. Yeah, that's true. Y'all gonna. I was, just, I was teasing. I was teasing. No, no. I was you, teasing. She's toxic. Y'all don't owe me nothing. Because nothing at all. I bought her these million dollar earrings. And, uh, what happened? I've been rubbing your feet ever since. Oh, 
Nah. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I have, on. really have, though. No, you have. Yes, I have. What did yeah. I miss yesterday? Dude. Yeah, tell the truth. My whole body hurt because I had a game, two games today. You know, what being, that mean? Being an athlete at <laughs> his age. She's, uh, Hit the uh, button. <laughs> being an athlete at his age. He is comical. Got his thing, you know. Oh, all right. Uh, Babe. We have our first game. Uh, I got to go to L.A. We got our first game uh, Tuesday. Get out of here. We play the Timberwolves. Get out of here. Uh, I think I think this might be my last year playing basketball for the Lakers. Oh my goodness. I so know. I might do, you know, I think I'm going to do an interview. You probably won't get any time because Bronny playing now. Bronny's trash. But you know what? He, he played decent. He, he, he was decent. Yeah. You know, but yeah, he played decent. But I, I don't think I'm going to get no playing time. But. Not over me, cause I, I'm at least get about twenty minutes. So uh, check me, check Wait me out, Hold check on. me out Tuesday. Hold on, y'all. We about to let y'all go. Listen, my husband just said he had a game today. Yeah. His body's been aching. This is we just talking about kickball, just running around the bases. That's how I'm gonna leave it right there. No. Now he's talking about going to play to do running back and forth up and down the court. It's no way, cause there's no way you can have somebody run for you in basketball. And you take <laughs> just just go just go. She, hey, I got I got to live. I, we we play live on uh, YouTube. So if you check out, if you subscribe to our oh channel, go look at the live. I just saw him walking back kickball, and, forth, and you will see how your boy get down. Mm -hmm. How you see how I get down, and right. then I'm gonna go live. But he just said he is so. Sore. I'm gonna go live Tuesday. I'm gonna go live Tuesday when I dunk on uh, no. one of them Minnesota no uh, Timberwolves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because she 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 be doubting me, man. She talks. That's talking. No, it's not. Anywho, give your people their flowers. Give your people their flowers. Call them. Tell them you love them. Go see them, please. Go see them. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying. I had an aunt that turned a hundred, so we didn't get to get we didn't get to go get to the uh, to the uh, to birthday the party. party. Mm -hmm. You know what? She turned a hundred, and uh, that, that makes me think I will turn a hundred. Yeah, you will turn a hundred. Yeah, once you pass it. <laughs> I bet you watch. Uh, anywho, anywho make sure you like and comment, subscribe and share. Make sure you go give your people their followers. And make sure you check out all our episodes from 1 to 61. And this one. And check out our lives. And check out the song Vote. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a nice song about voting. Make sure you vote. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, like she said, We'll see you at the end of the road, like boys and men. And next week's topic will be about how much sex is too much sex.